Hi everybody, um, I've got year two of the Ask Box. So I just picked it up in the mail. Um, I was gone last week, so I wasn't here to pick it up. So let's put it. I remember when it came in, it was in a plastic box. Um, packing bag, I guess. This way up, so I'm trying really hard to remember to not toss it around. Okay, ready? There we go. There's already things falling out. Ah! Oh, awesome. My cat will just eat those later. It's fine. <clears throat> Most macabre monstrosities of the many fearsome beasts and monsters that roam our land, none is near, none is more deathly than the basilisk. Ooh, that's right. So, the um, the checklist for everything that's in here, which I haven't looked at anything. I've been really tempted to look at the other unboxings, and I didn't look at any secrets. All I know is that it's here too, so I'm super excited. And I also love that they have um, that they keep their inventory list interesting. So my other one's on my fridge. Um, these little bits though. Or something. All right, so you're quite the catch. Sing to Harry Potter. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. His hair is as dark as a blackboard. I wish he was mine. He's truly divine. The hero who conquered the Dark Lord. That's clever. And it's postcard size, so that's cool. I'm gonna send that to my husband. He doesn't have a green eyes though. That's fine. Everything will be fine. Um, there is a adorable crocheted little Dobby. So Dobby's death caused me the most distress out of everybody. Hedwig was kind of rough. Um, <clears throat> Dumbledore, Dumbledore was kind of was well. He's like the whole good side, and then he died. But Dobby, so he's cute. I know um, he's got all this fluff and stuff stuck to him. So, let's see what else. There's something wrapped up in this tissue paper. Oh, I see a tiny little pot. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's a mandrake. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, he's so cute. It looks like those are coffee grounds in there. Oh. It smells like coffee. I think they are coffee grounds. That's genius, though. So it's my little cute mandrake, dude. Or do that. I don't know. Um, so me and my son, I guess, and my daughter, are reading the illustrated version of Harry Potter book two. So this is all very exciting. Ooh. I'm seeing things that I'm not ready to pull out yet. Oh, here's flu powder. That's a pretty dense little bag. Um... Let's open this. Oh, it's bright green. Come on out. Come out, come out, come out. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna pull this thing out. There's a little piece of paper, and it says, this item has been regulated by the Department of Magical Transport. Feel free to empty the contents out of the muggle plastic bag into the burlap one. We package it this, what? Oh, it's a misspelling, oh, well. <coughs> sorry to avoid any spilling and muggles taking unexpected trips when delivering. All right, so um, I wonder if it's functional. It would be cool if it were like bath salts or something, but it looks like it's just green sand. Um, it's about, it's really heavy. So I think it's just sand. I guess I can open it and smell it. No, no smell at all. All right, well, that's cool. I'm, I'm not going to wrestle that back into the bag right now. All right, what else have we got? Ooh, fandom blends. Most potent potions, polyjuice potion. Oh, gosh. There's loose tea in there. Beware. But, oh, my goodness, it smells amazing. And there's a ton in there. It's just, it's packed. You see, there's so much in there. 
All right, green tea, pomegranate, raspberries, blueberries, and lemongrass. Steep this potion for five minutes in two, 200 degree water. Cool, if brewed properly, this polyjuice potion allows the drinker to feel as if they have been transformed into a new person. Oh, that's very fitting. And I love the lady with the spider hat. Rather. I'm not creeped out by spiders. To be fair, I don't like anything jumping out at me, not even my kids. <gasps> There's a basilisk pin. So um, I have, I've subscribed to a few different Harry Potter um, subscription boxes and just subscription boxes in general. Um, and I'm usually very underwhelmed. Um, and I, I feel disappointed that I can't get as excited but uh, so far, this is, a, this is my second Ask a Box, and I'm thoroughly impressed. Um, ooh, there's something. Alchemy for the skin. We'll check that out. All right. Phoenix Tears Body Dew is hibiscus-infused, skin-loving, non-greasy, golden glow perfumed body oil. Phoenix Tears scent is strawberry peach. It contains apricot kernel oil, vitamin E, rice bran oil, golden mica, hibiscus flower petals, and fragrance. Shake well before use. Ooh. And I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to spray it on my arm because I was noticing I was looking a little ashy. I might just have to be a heathen and rip this sucker open. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Ta-da! Okay, so that's what it looks like. There's the... I always forget what side my... I'm going to shake it. And it's all glittery. And there, you can see that there are bits of flowers and stuff in there. So that's cool. All right. Oh, it's not a spritzer. Fine. Oh, it is. That is nice and shimmery. Oh, and it smells nice. I'm really picky about my scents. Um, I don't use, I don't like most things floral. Um, I'm not a flowery kind of girl. But that is definitely peach and strawberry. That's nice. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So there is the business card, of course. That's nice. I really like that. I'm going to have to look and see if that's the same people that put together the, um, the gold goat's milk like body lotion that they had in the first box. All right. And I love how they make everything a little present. I love it. So, and this feels like it's got some sort of protection on it. It feels squishy. There's something there. I don't know why I'm trying to save the, the brown paper. I know you guys worked really hard on it, but I gotta unwrap this stuff. So, it is amazing. It's a really sweet little detail, so thank you. All right, ooh. Skelligro bona fide results every time. Sold only by Rubens Winnicus and Company. A remedy for bone growth. So it is. Oh. I don't. I'm going to assume this isn't supposed to happen, but I think <coughs> mine. I think mine's molded. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, let me see if I... I read that all of these things were supposed to be solid. So, and since they're solid, they're pointless to open up. So, um, I'm not going to worry about that. Maybe it was something fancy in there. I don't know. We'll see. But there's a cute little skeleton charm. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm getting over being really sick after my trip. Um, ooh, 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 what's this? Oh, okay. I, um, <coughs> um, I had no idea what this was. And then, um, because we haven't gotten to it 
while I'm rereading the book, my son's reading it for the first time, it's the journal, and you poke it with the basilisk thing. So, um, it feels rubbery, a lot like the, um, the dragon egg from the first one. <coughs> Gosh. Hello, my name is Harry Potter. Oh, so this is, this is the journal, um, conversation between Harry and Tom Riddle in this uh, journal, the one that disappears and all that. So, um, cool. Just a little bit of the fluff. It's interesting and it's got a little, a little loop at the top so you can, I'll probably <laughs> turn it into a Christmas ornament. So, cause I've already got, um, Hagrid with a, with Hedwig's owl cage. I got it years ago. And a cute little duck. What is the purpose of a rubber duck? To go in the ass go box. That's why. Little things make me happy. All right, get out of there. All right, and oh my gosh. Okay, so um, I saw a shirt down here, and I thought that that was the end, because usually for everything else, the shirt's at the bottom, but there's not. Underneath the shirt is a ton of other stuff. So I'm going to look at the shirt, and then <clears throat> we'll get there. So I ordered extra large because I alter everything. It's not much. Uh, but it's home. Oh, it's the Weasley thing. It's the Weasley hovel. Is it a hovel? No. I don't feel like that's the right word. Anyway. I like it. I will probably turn it into a racer back tank top. Because I live somewhere very hot and humid. And um, it's the middle of April and I'm already in a tank top. So... Cool. Okay. All right. Ooh. Got a howler. So I don't know. Okay. So there's a Velcro on it. So it is meant to be opened. I was worried about that. Because <clears throat> I was going to open it anyways. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Little things. It's little things that are important. Ah. Okay. And of course it says what Molly hollered at him through here. Oh, it's beautiful. So, yep, and then everything just folds right back up and seals back that way. So, Molly Weasley, sorry. I grew up doing the whole wow mom jokes with my family, so. Um, oh, right. Okay, this is a, a pile of letters. All right, here are a few of the letters that Harry Potter's friends sent him last summer. Harry Potter must not be angry with Dobby. The rest of the letters are at Malfoy Manor, and Dobby must not return to the Malfoys. So, they're bundled. All right, well, uh, I guess that's, let's open them. I'm really worried about these. Like, maybe they're not supposed to be open. Yep, there we go. Okay. Hiya, Harry. I wrote to you a few weeks ago, but I guess my last owl didn't make it to you. Don't tell mom and dad. I said it, but I don't think this owl has many trips left in it, if you ask me. Listen, I'm going to ask mom if it's okay if you come to our house for the rest of the summer. Do you reckon the muggles will let you come? Go ahead and ask them and let me know so I can fix it with mom and we can figure out how to come and get you. I'm sure my parents won't mind and I know my sister Jenny would be happy to have you here. She hasn't shut up about you all summer. Send your letter back with Hedwig. This bloody bird might not make it. See you soon, mate. Ron Weasley. So that's one. These are in like really sturdy envelopes. I wish... I'm going to have to hunt down some sturdy envelopes because every one that I get, they're all just like, you can see through them. They're just garbage. All right, so this one was wrapped in some hemp twine. Oh, here's one from Hagrid. How was your summer? Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if everyone would want me to read every single one of these um, or just to kind of show the detail that... Um, that 
is being put into the, the items in the ASCII box, but they're sealed. They actually have notes. They're not just a pile of envelopes. So I think that's pretty cool. Dear Harry, oh, so this one's from Hermione. And you can see the neat paper. And yeah. Okay, I, I'm trying to get through these fairly quickly, um, but also I want to show you how cool everything is. Mr. Argus Filch, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft Craft and Wizardry. Oh, oh, do you see that? That's the quick spell. Let's check this out. Ooh. I'm trying to figure out, oh, there's a K. That's what it is. I'm trying to figure out what that was, but there's a K. And it's the same kind of rubbery seal um, that was on the, that was in the first box for the, um, for Hogwarts, of course. Ooh, there's two things in here. <clears throat> Are you or someone you know struggling with the W-O-M-B-A-T, Wombat Examination? If so, we recommend the Wallop the Wombat Revision Course. This course, created by Quickspell, is a crammer course of evening classes. This is recommended to those who achieve only a poor on the grade three test. This course is recommended by the Ministry of Magic itself. There's a recommendation from the Quick Spell Company. All right, here's the letter from Quick Spell. Feel out of step in a world of modern magic? Find yourself making excuses not to perform simple spells? Ever been taunted for your woeful wand work? There's an answer. Quick Spell is an all-new, fail-safe, quick-result, easy-learned course. Hundreds of witches and wizards have benefited from the Quick Spell method. Madam Z. Nettles of Topsham writes, I had no memory for incantations and my potions were a family joke. Now, after a quick spell course, I'm the center of attention at parties and friends beg for the recipes of my scintillation solution. Warlock DJ Prod of Didsbury writes, My wife used to sneer at my feeble charms, but one month of your fabulous quick spell course and I succeeded in turning her into a yak. Thank you, quick spell. Well... That's unfortunate. Um, so that's cool. Let's try again. What else? Okay, so just like the first one, let me sift through the little bits. Just like the first one, um, he's got. Uh, oh, there's two prints this time. Okay. So happy 500th death day. Sir Nicholas. So this is actually the chapter that we had just finished reading. So um, I don't know if I put up my unboxing for year one, um, but I don't really do anything with these. Um, but since then, I have used them as giant bookmarks in the illustrated versions of the book. And this is perfect. So this would be good. And then there's a second one of Lockhart. So, um, I really don't like Lockhart. I, I, there's probably somebody that does. Um, so when I read in a voice that's supposed to correspond with Lockhart, um, I make him sound really lacking. So, uh, my son also does not like him. So, but maybe my daughter will like this because he's got pink and purple robes and she's three. So, cool. Um, well done, Azkabox. This has been cool. I look forward to box three. Year three. Box three, year three. Yeah, same. Talk with there. Okay. Um, thanks for watching my video. Uh, I hope it was um, enlightening. So, um, thanks for watching.